And don't sit there and tell me, oh, well, people should know the difference. You know, people should. But would I be making this video if people did? Hello, my friends and fishes, Courtney Mermaid here and welcome to another video. If you're new, my name is Courtney and I am a professional mermaid tail maker from Vancouver, Canada. DIY mermaid tails and monofins have been a thing in our community since the very beginning. The first monofin was reportedly patented in the 1930s and back in the day, they didn't really have the mermaid vibe that we have all kind of come to expect from the monofins made specifically for our sport. So this meant in the early days that if you wanted a very specific shape, you had to get creative. And believe me, people did. And I've got nothing against people doing their research and safely prototyping new designs. After all, where would our industry be without the creative individuals who keep coming out with new stuff? But that's not what I'm talking about today. So, so let's take a look. We're not even two seconds into the video. I already have to stop, okay? What we have here is already gonna send me to the hospital. So we have two of the most rotten, ratty looking shoes straight out of the dumpster. That's fine. And what I can only imagine is a glue gun. Perfect, okay? And at the bottom, you'll note that it says five minute crafts. Let's, let's continue. Oh yes. This, <laughs> this already, I swear to God. Okay, so it's glue. It's hot glue. It's, it's not just hot glue. It's a uh, glitter hot glue. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna only take you five minutes. Absolutely. And you know what? The construction of this is solid. Oh yeah, we got another color. Okay, because you wouldn't just... Okay, all right. Whoa, whoa. Don't... Not so fast. Hang on, hang on. Slow down, five-minute crafts. Where did the shoes go? Somebody's just bought something from my shop. Somebody just bought one of these. Thank you. So before the 11th, make sure. If you want to grab one of the Mary Fishmas uh, sweatshirts, they're so cozy. I love them. Just make sure that you wash it with like colors and cold water. That's all I got to tell you. Back to the, the point of all of this. In water! One more time. One more time. Hang on, hang on. Okay, so that's the thing. The shoes... Shoes are gone. The shoes got nixed. So your feet are just gonna sit in that. Excellent. And now this also, is this the same thing? Cause it doesn't really look the same, like it's the same material. Whatever, whatever, fine. Um, this is just disturbing. This is disturbing. This is so upsetting. I, uh, I don't know what five minute crafts are like the worst offenders when it comes to this stuff. They're terrible advice. The wrong advices. Terrible. Don't do it. Okay, so if you actually search, you go and you look and you're looking for DIY monofins on YouTube, a lot of these kinds of videos will come up. How to make them. There's lots of different ones made out of duct tape, people stapling fins together, people gluing fins together, people using plastic. It's just, it's, it's, uh, it's bad. So something else that I started recently was over on Pinterest. It's a private board because I don't really want to send hate to a bunch of people. What I'm hoping is that, I mean, even though it drives me directly up the wall. I'm hoping we can have a little educational moment here. Just a little bit of uh, getting on the same page. But here we go. Here's one. It's, it's like sandals and duct tape. And uh, they say, please, no bad comments. Now, again, look, the age that we are, we're trying to be creative. Where, where, where are the parents? <laughs> I really hope they're not the ones facilitating this because this is just not good. It's not good. This is not a good idea. They think this is swimmable. This is not swimmable. This is not safe. When I tell you, it makes me want to jump out of my own skin. Now, as you can see, we're going to go through all of these. I would like to take a look at my personal favorite, which would be uh, this beauty. Oh, there's more. We've done an excellent job here. It's cardboard and flip-flops and some tape. A simple DIY craft tutorial idea for pretend play and dress up. Now, I appreciate that, Crafty Blog Stalker LLC. You don't call this a monofin. Take that out of there. This is not a monofin. This is not what a monofin is. I'm gonna get into that in a minute, but this is, you, you. we have to call it something else and you need to put a warning, underline it in bold on the image. Do not try to swim in this or something shorter. If you've got a better idea, go to town. This is not what a monofin is. It's not, this is not what a monofin is. Oh God. They're amazing though. They're so good. Some of them are just unbelievable. So here's another one. Flip-flops seem to be the go-to for things like this. So, you know, it's fine if you're not gonna swim in it. I don't care. But if you plan on swimming in it, okay, here, how to make a, here we go. Okay. Again, with the flip-flops. Can we put the flip-flops down? Please stop. 
Stop, 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 stop. And I do just need to underline this. This is not to shame anybody. I know that I sound like I'm being funny and all of these things or like I'm trying to get a rise out of people or whatever. Don't you go and hate on these people. But this is so that you know that this is not, this is not the way to do it. If you're going to swim in it, this is not the way to do it. And I just, I can't even watch. I can't, it's like, this is just painful. Ugh. People with your tape, duct tape everything. Like duct tape has its uses, not for this. Ugh, I can't, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't keep watching. So a $6 duct tape monofin. And this one looks like this would be one that somebody would try to swim in. God, please make it stop though. This is horrifying. Oh my God, what is this? No, what is this? Who is this? Oh, oh no. Is this somebody I know? Who's done this? <gasps> okay, 2020 update, please read. I made this video ages ago when monofins were not easily accessible. Please buy a proper monofin instead of making one. Okay, well you get props for that, but this video has 132,000 views. I'm blurry, why am I blurry? This video has 132,000 views. Oh, uh, I'm just, I'm not gonna comment. I'm for my own sanity and for the, sake of this channel because they did at least comment to say that this wasn't cool so I'm just gonna let that we're just gonna let it go. Now there are so many more videos like this on the internet and some of them are believe it or not even more horrifying than the ones that I've shown you today. I mean we saw people are out there using plastic, they're using cardboard, flip-flops, sandals, duct tape, hangers. Oh god hangers. Oh yeah, you can't make this shit up. All to make what people are referring to as monofins. And then they're sharing the how they made it with the world and causing all kinds of chaos. So you want to make your own monofin, so fine. You want to make it for a costume to play, pretend, and dress up? Do the thing. You're not going to swim in it? I don't care. But we got to find something else to call it. You got to call it something else because this cannot be referred to as a monofin. It just can't. And here's why. You're using a word that people heavily associate with a tool that is made for specific use in the water. So you're implying whether it's made out of cardboard and you only intended for it to be used on land by calling it a monofin, it is implying that this could be used in the water. And don't sit there and tell me, oh, well, people should know the difference. You know, people should, but would I be making this video if people did? So not only are you potentially putting yourself in danger, you could potentially be putting so many more people at risk, especially people who are unaware that this is not a good idea. They haven't seen any of my videos, obviously. And then forget the thousands upon thousands of us who actually do this as a hobby, as a sport, as a profession. Forget all those people who you are potentially harming because it only takes one mistake. It only takes one really smart person to take a cardboard fin out to the ocean or to a public pool in a mermaid tail. And then they're all gonna be like, well, that's all mermaid tails are like that. All mermaids are trouble. Do you, do you think, do you think about the bigger picture? Think about the bigger picture for a minute, please. Cause you have the potential to ruin it for everyone. And then, and then, and then, then there's the environmental impact. You are putting stuff into water, potentially natural bodies of water that was never intended for this use. You could be leaching chemicals, paint, glitter. And like, let's not even forget about the fact that a lot of this glue and this like caulking that people are, are using that's like meant for sealant and like bathrooms and stuff. This is not safe for use on your skin. Even after it's cured, this stuff is not safe. Like, does nobody think back to the time when everybody was using Alex Plus to make mermaid tails and people were breaking out in like hives and rashes? I mean, maybe you don't know. Maybe you haven't been around the community long enough to remember the dark ages of mermaiding when that was the vibe. Like everybody and their cousin were attempting to make mermaid tails out of Alex Plus. Like when like caulking and stuff, like bathroom caulking, like, oh my, yeah. I know that monofins can be expensive. I have a lot of them. They weren't cheap and they're expensive because this is a non-essential activity. This is a luxury. And I know many of us would disagree in that fact because I don't know what I would do if I couldn't swim in my monofins and my mermaid tails and everything, but it is how the world views it. But there are affordable options out there or at least more affordable options. FinFun is an excellent option that most professional merfolk will often recommend to beginners slash people new to the community. Their fins start at about 34 USD plus applicable taxes and shipping 
shipping and import fees and all that. And they have a wide range of tail skin options to choose from. So there's definitely going to be something that you like available. Plus you can also order customs through FinFun. And there are a lot of artists out there in the community who offer commissions for this. Or if you're feeling creative, you could design your own. But at the end of the day, if you're out there making monofin tutorials and DIYs, you are now a part of this community, whether you want to be here, whether we want you to be here or not because that association will be made by people outside of our community. And the decisions that you make will impact more than just you if something goes wrong. And it's not to say that you shouldn't be out there trying to innovate and create the next new monofin and the next great exciting thing for our mermaid community, but you do need to do your research and prioritize your own safety and the safety of others. And please, for the love of all that is good in this world, know what you're doing before you make a tutorial on how to do it. And in all honesty, if you look at the search results and you look to see the sheer volume of people, especially younger people who are looking for how to DIY their own fin because their parents don't want to do it. Oh, this is an expensive hobby. This is silly. This is stupid. It's such a popular topic that this is why so many people do it. They want the views. People are making money off of this. And I don't feel like that's a good enough reason. I mean, like, listen, I'd love to make a few extra extra bucks too, but not at the chance that I'm going to hurt people. So all that said, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this respectfully, of course, in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up for mermaid safety. Don't forget to subscribe, to join the pod, and hit that bell as well so you never miss an upload. And if you'd like a list of some of the top monofins you can find over on Amazon, I have compiled a list with my affiliate links. It doesn't cost you any more or less to use one of my affiliate links, but it does help support my channel, which is very much appreciated. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I look forward to catching you all again in the next one. Happy swimming! Bye!